What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cart Road 9999. As you can see, we are back on custom tracks. And I'm using the mini beast today because well I figured I might as well since I've already went through you know Wild Wing, I've gone through Flame Flyer, and you know this is obviously the best small cart. And I think this is gonna be an interesting room because I'll, I'll, I tried recording one earlier, and uh, my recording corrupted yet again, because... Okay, Jack. Alright. I, I don't think that was necessary. Oh, wait, I can get shocked. I might get shocked here. What are you doing? Ah. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. He, he thinks he's funny, but that's kind of dumb, honestly. Alright, now I gotta catch up, so... You know... <gasps> wow! That's just unlucky. Oh, I really bumped Brewdog. Feels bad. Alright, shout out to Brewdog, by the way. I joined this C2O right through him. What are you doing? Okay, I'm really far behind. I didn't even realize how much time I lost by bagging on lap 1. Another pal, wow. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Mm, Boo dog pulled Chuck. All right, please give me a golden. Nice. Okay, I can catch up. I think if I just golden here, I'll it'll stop before the set. I think so. Oh, some people really got screwed over. Nice, it stopped before set. Oh, Boo dog died. Another pal. Yeah, I'm in a really bad spot right now. Alright. I don't know if Jack's trolling me or if I'm just in the wrong spot at the wrong time. I can't tell right now. This is bad. Never mind, it's fine. If he held that shock like another set, that would have been ideal for him. Okay, that's fine, but I'm actually gonna chain these here and see if I can get a star. That's actually perfect, wow. Okay, I think this is gonna take me all the way up there. If I just shroom here, I should be in second. Maybe third. Spam it. Come on, come on, come on, third. Nice. Thank God, that was really, that was intense. Okay, it looks like I really chose the right room for this. Plus 142 right off the bat. Let's go, dude. Really good start. So yeah, we're going to be doing about seven races as per usual in here. Let's see how the session keeps going. Nice, Broken Pure. All right, this is one of my favorite GBA tracks for sure. If, if, in case you guys don't know, I actually have the best time on this track right now. Okay, well, that doesn't really showcase anything well. But... I actually do have the best time on this track as of right now. Um, I got it like way, way back. And this is probably the best spot to golden, I think. Nice, that was perfect. Oh, I'm breaking. Let's go. That's what we wanted. Yeah, I figured I would use the golden there instead of the other shortcut because that bridge cut is actually like where the shroom spot is if you're not taking the uh, big cut. Okay, that's really confusing wording. I, I, <laughs> I, I understand that. But like, what I meant to say was like, this cut you see on the right side that you're about to see here, this cut on the right, that's a, that's like, in, in time trials, it's faster to take that shroomless and then use a shroom through the cut afterward. I might, if, if I remember, I'll leave a link to my broken peer run in the, in the description. I use some pretty good music in it, honestly. Well, you know what? That's not important right now. Anyway, we're just holding our lead right now, and I think we might continue to hold it if there aren't, like, a bunch of items that hit me all of a sudden. But, you know. Hey, got him. Nice. Okay, we might be able to hold this. I'm gonna try backing this, maybe. I think this is the optimal staking line. Oh, that's definitely optimal. Super mini turbo right here. Should give me room for another snake. Yep. 
Oh, dude, this is such a clean run right now. Like, I'm just gonna go wide here because I don't really want to try crossing over paths or anything. Alright, so anyway. I've been, I've been considering this since I recorded the last episode. I was noticing that when I was playing the regular tracks, the races were a lot more intense than the ones in the CT Worldwide's end. I think that's still going to be the case here. Like, we just ran Broken Pier after Goldening in the first lap one. Like, how does that even work? Oh, well, that's besides the point. Um, I'm considering a few different things for what to do with that. Plus 242, 6800. Oh my gosh, we're gaining fast on CTs. But anyway, um, I'll talk about it in the next race. I'll, I'll let you know what I mean. All right, let's, back, let's get back on what I was talking about. So, as you guys can see in so far in this episode, we've gained quite a lot of VR and <laughs> I don't know how. I really don't know how. It just seems like, it seems too easy. I don't know why. So, I'm trying to decide. Should I like stay on regular tracks more or should I like try to like, or should I just keep doing what I'm doing now and alternate them every other week? You know, you know, like rank track one week, CTs next week, and so on. I'm, I'm thinking just staying on regular tracks until I reach higher VRs might be better for the series, just because of the fact that, like, I don't know. It, it just seems like the rooms are crazier at the lower VRs on regular tracks, whereas on CTs, it's more about breaking away. And I could have gone a lot earlier, but eh, it's fine. We're not dodging lap one, are we? All right. Ooh, rip that guy. But yeah, Cortex Castle, anyway, back onto the race. Cortex Castle is a track I haven't carded before. So I'm kind of trying to figure out the best lines for it. Oh, that's not gonna help me with that. Uh, which way is he going? I'm gonna go over here so I don't get past that TC. Or a shot can happen. That's not what I expected. I think I see Mr. Burn going back for a star that he dropped. Oh, this is good. I'm gonna hold this, actually. I'm gonna try to predict the next shock, assuming it'll happen at the end of this, or not the end of this lap, the beginning of next lap. It might be spammed to chain. Uh, okay, someone got a TC. I thought someone was billing. I think someone was billing, but like, it stopped. That's what I was worried about. Can I make this? Ah, oh, nope, that's not what I meant to do. I think it'll respawn me before boxes. No after boxes, wow. That's one thing I think should be modified about this track. I think that respawn, it should respawn you before boxes. Since you don't get a set until all the way up here if you fall off there. I don't know, that's just a personal opinion. I can't really say much about the tracks that are created. Cause I know Ethan actually hasn't been around in a while. Cause like the last track he created I think that got added was like Alpine Peak maybe? And I haven't seen anything since. All right, can we get a shock here? Aw, oh, that's bad. I'm just gonna use this to try to get something at the next set, maybe. I need something here if I wanna have a chance. Nah, that's not good. I'm just gonna use a shroom for the cut again. Wait, this is good. Wait, what? What happened? Wait, what just happened? How did I get into third? Also, this Omniverse guy is giving me a really familiar vibe to someone from the beginning of CTGP 1.03. So, like, a little backstory, like, there's this guy who used to go by, like, Dark Angel or something, and he would always use, like, Rose's Spear, and he would get first all the time. I don't know if this is the same guy or not. He's a similar me and all that. Also, 69.85, dude, we're gaining fast. Let's keep this momentum up. Cheeseland, oh yeah, I love Cheeseland. I've, okay, well I don't love it, but I've grown a taste to like it. I used to really dislike this track, like at the beginning of 1.03's life, but like over the years, I've kind of grown into it. Oh my God, that's broken. So, um, if I play my cards right, we might have a broken pier part two and um, Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna keep holding this, actually. 
Yeah, I'm gonna hold this and then just use this at the end of this lap, and I'm gonna try something really dumb. Oh, well, okay, that's not what I meant to happen, but you know what? I went for the cut, and I didn't think I was gonna make it, so I just decided to gold in there. Okay, made it out of the- made it out of the- Dang, where did everyone go, dude? And my snaking is, like, really sharp right now. Like, I'm releasing MTs, like, almost as soon as I get them. I'm just gonna use a shroom here. I don't really need it. Another pow. Okay. What do we got here? Um, let's just use it here. Yeah, I was gonna try something there, but I... Oh, shoot. Alright, that was good. Um, I don't know what to think about the shock situation. I'm gonna let him pass. Let me collect this box. Another golden. Uh, it's not really what I wanted, but... I think I'll be set to just golden up. Oh, that's risky. Someone's got a TC. Oh, no shot can play. I can just golden up. Oh, I'm gonna be in first. I'm literally gonna be in first here. Nope. Oh gosh, I see green shells going around. I'm trying not to get hit. Ah, alright, that was enough. Am I getting Boodog? Okay, he slipped in it. I can wait. Okay, so this is just about... Okay, we're in a similar situation again. This is literally just about pulling a power item. That was a good low. I'm gonna slam the brakes here. Alright, that's kind of toxic, but it's, it's the best. Oh, that's not good. That's really bad. I literally just need to build up. I literally just build here. Wait, that's gonna be bad. Please third? Nice. Okay. That really worried me. I think I built a little too early there, but I didn't think the build was gonna take me to second anyway. Guys, we're in 7,000 territory. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gaining really, really quickly. So, wow, 7,000 already. I did not think this was gonna be this fast. <laughs> Wow. All right, well, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right, I kind of lost track of how many races I've done in this room, so I'm going to do this one and then the next one, and then I think we'll be done. Especially since we've already broken into 7,000 territory. I didn't, I real, I, I, I really didn't expect that, guys. I've got to be honest. Like, I, I was already kind of surprised with the progress in the first episode, but, like, this is way faster than I could have guessed. Oh, gosh, this Omniverse guy. It's really giving me familiar vibes. What is he doing? What is he doing? <gasps> Cynical. <laughs> Oof. Wait, what? He's off the track too? All right, well, I'm probably gonna get shocked here. So that's what I need to focus on. So this track is very much like, very advantageous for all. Oh. Um, No one pulled it, so I can pull it here. I might get it. No, okay, I'm just gonna golden up actually. Um, is this gonna end before the box? Yes, it is. Give me shock. Wow, okay, I don't think anyone has it. Cynical. Oh, hello. That's not how you hop, Koopa. Okay, so I can easily get back to the front. I just need to use my build at the right time. If I fail to get on the rail, I'll just. Okay, nice. The strat here is to just like do this. Go on the loose panel. And we're back on the track. Okay, someone fell off. He might get it. And I have a feeling he might spam it. No? Okay, that's fine. I'm just. I, this is good to catch up anyway, so. Oh no, is it gonna drop me on the turn? Oh, that was a really bad build drop, but we're still living. I gotta be careful not to get back spammed. Oh gosh. That's a good pull. That's a very good pull. Oh, please. Okay. Wait, I can actually get first. Should have played. It's all about playing the cards right. All, all, all the time, dude. Nice. Made on rail. Oh, God. I don't know if I'll be able to pass people. Um... Uh, this is very risky. Please, 
Please, third. Third? Nice. Oh my gosh. That ending was scary. Like, what I was planning to do was just use two of my shrooms and, like, take that last turn type, but then Cynical activated the star. All right, 7160. Yeah, let's go for one more race. This is a very high VR room. I, maybe that well, maybe that's why I'm gaining so quickly. So let's go for one more, and then we'll see where we end up. Ooh, good track. Yeah, this is definitely going to be the last one. Caliday Desert is one of my favorite tracks of all time. Well, I mean, okay, well, maybe not. But, like, over the years, this has always been a personal favorite of mine. Like... It's always been really fun to race. There's all the races are always entertaining. Well, at least in all the rooms I play. I don't know how it's going to be in this scenario, but I'd imagine it'd be pretty chaotic. Ooh, good fifth throw, but not quite enough. That's really good. The only potential problem with this item is if I rely on it to take the cut, and then a shock happens, then my race is pretty much over at that point. So if I'm gonna take cut with this, I have to chain it and then make ensure that I pull shrooms. Otherwise, if I get stuck in the cut, I think, well, depending on the lap, my race may or may not be over. Like for example, if I were to do it this lap, which I'm not gonna do, it would give me plenty of time to come back since the cut is so much, it's so powerful. Now you can watch Omniverse, oh, he didn't take it. Boodog took it and you can see, okay, really? No one gave me a good example? That one person took it, they were really far behind, and now they're up here. So, now I just gotta make sure that I don't get, like, you know, stuff. Oh, that was a really nice little trick, actually. Okay. Um, I'm not expecting a lap 2 shock. If anything, I might expect it to be chained at the cut itself. So, what I'm actually gonna do is I'll chain my Mega at the cut, like I was saying. And if I pull Shrooms, I'll be set. If I don't pull Shrooms, then I'm dodging for nothing. I'm almost certain that Boodog will use it at, you know, at the set before cut. And if you don't get what I'll mean, I will show you in a moment. Ooh, Omniverse got wrecked. Wait, where is everyone going? Okay, well, somehow I'm in... Okay, he chained it there. Okay, that's a very interesting spot to chain, actually. Um, I'm gonna go around, because I don't want to take cut this lap. And I think only Boodog and some people in the back are gonna take it. So, going around here is probably going to be the move. Yeah, see, now I'm in last, which sets me up... Oh, I'm not in last. Actually, the rocks is back here. Did not expect that. Oh, ruby red, ruby red, ruby red, ruby red. Oh, gosh. Oh, I need a box. I need a star. Yes, perfect. Okay, so Cynical's in the back. And... Oh, okay. Cynical got Bill. I could go for Shock, actually. Never mind, Boodog's power bagging for it. And, well, if I'm being honest, I'm just gonna end up expecting Boodog to chain it again. Since if you're on this track, you're gonna wanna do something similar with the shock both times. So, if I chain my star here, I should be set to win. I missed the chain. Yeah, this is troubling. Wait, I can just go for a box here, right? Oh, wait. Rip. Alright, that's not... That's, yeah, that's gonna be an auto last. Wait, actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Spam shot. Am I getting eight? Ah, uh, I risked it all right there. That was not worth the risk. Alright, we only lost 46 from that, though. But, either way... Um... I think that's probably going to be all I have. So, well, I think we should go over this real quick. So, we're gaining VR very, very quickly. We're at 7119, and it's only been three episodes. Like, that's absolutely insane. So, like, I think I might need to start implementing sabotages already. It's already been three episodes and we've gained 2,000 VR. Like, I did not think this was gonna, it was gonna be like this. But I guess that's what happens when you get on custom checks and when you use OP carts. So, I think I'm gonna start implementing a sabotage next week and see what I can do with it. So, until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Later.